Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I wanted to do a very quick sort of tutorial slash showing you how let me just get up here how I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette now I'm very fair complected to the point where there is very few shades that are the lightest that come in foundations and concealers that match me I very often have to mix in lightness just so that I can put something on and not look like an Oompa Loompa. Now this I bought in the US in 2000 and would be 15 and I love this. I was a bit disappointed because I can only use one of the shades in here as a highlight because the other two are too dark but I also managed to drop it a couple of months ago which sucks. Um, but I have found ways to use the other two shades and basically all three of them, sorry that you were blinded the first second there, um, in ways that does work on my extremely fair skin. And if you're also very fair and you've bought this and you're kind of like, oh I really wanted them all to be highlights, I was very excited for the one all the way over here, the one that isn't shimmery. I believe that's called Dim Light and I was very excited for that because I wanted that one sort of like an under eye setting powder but it is way too dark for me. But I have found ways to use them and I will share them with you today. Now on my face I have only got foundation and powder on. I did use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as my foundation this morning and this is how my skin looks now. Then I'm going to take the dim light one or the one all the way to the left on my Real Techniques contour brush tapping off a little bit of excess and I'm going to use this as my bronzer and you're probably going to look at me like what? that's not going to show up on me it does it's too light for me to be able to use it as a setting powder or a highlighter but it works perfectly when I want a really nice natural bronze I'm also going to take that colour around my hairline and on my forehead just to tie everything nicely together and because this has a bit of a sheen it's not completely matte but it isn't shimmery in any way either. It's got sort of like a lith, lith, lit from within kind of glow. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to pick up on it. But it's just very nice and natural looking. So it looks like skin. So it's not super matte, but it isn't shimmery or shiny. It just looks natural. I'm also going to take a tiny bit on my nose. And I go on either side, but I also dust over the top because... I have got a crooked nose, it's not completely straight on either side and I find whenever I do nose contours and take it just on the side it doesn't look right so I always just dust a little bit over the top and because I'm also using this as a bronzer I'm also taking it a little bit up to the high points of my face just to blend everything nicely together. Then I'm going to highlight and I'm going to mix, if I can tilt it here, I'm going to mix the middle one and the one on the right which is radiant light and incandescent light, I do believe. Sorry if I'm um, misnaming them. But I'm gonna start by dipping my brush into the middle one and I'm just gonna pop that onto the high points of the face. I also love taking the middle shade specifically whenever I am baking under my eyes and I will dust away the bake and it just makes the skin underneath my eyes not look as dry as it could be. And it just gives it a nice sort of little bit of a glow without being super overboard. If you're really into sort of natural type highlighters, I do love these powders. If you're like a more of like wham bam see my highlighter from space kind of person, these might not be enough. But I'm just going to pop that on. I'm having a very natural makeup day today. And I just want a little bit of something so that my face doesn't look too flat. I'm then going to mix the two furthest right, so starting by dipping my brush into the lightest shade, then I go into the one on the right which is more of a golden kind of colour, 
and then I just dip it quickly back into the middle just to mix them and I'm gonna go over the top because that just gives a nice warmth and I sometimes I'm gonna do this now I sometimes also take just the one on the right as it's sort of own and I use it as a bit of a blush topper because it does work super nicely over the top of blush but when I'm at my fairest, which I am right now, it is way too dark for me to use as a highlight on its own. It just looks like a streak. and But I do love it as a blush topper whenever I'm wearing a matte blush or I'm wearing a slightly shimmery one but just want a bit more glow to it. I have a very natural blush on today, very light handed with it, but I'm just going to give it a really nice glow. And I'm going to mix those two shades again and I'm going to take that down my nose. And I'm also going to mix and use that on my forehead. And if there's any areas that I want to lighten, which is basically the centre of my face, I do go more into the middle shade than I do the other two. And if it's looking a little dark somewhere, I just dip my brush straight into the middle on its own and then I blend that over the top. I don't usually put anything on my cupid's bow, but I'm going to take a tiny bit just today, just because I don't feel like it does anything for me, and that is how I use it. I sometimes also take the right shade here, which is on my left now, the one called, oh my god, um, I believe it's Radiant Light, I do take that sometimes on my lid for a quick sort of wash of colour for eyeshadow and if you want swatches of the colours if you haven't seen them already I will have a proper swatch on my blog but let me do a quick one for you so you have the I believe it's incandescent one the middle one on this side here and then you have radiant light or the shade on the right and then you have the dim light colour which is the matte sort of satin type colour or the one on the left is right there and you can see the middle one is a lot lighter than the two others and this is the one on the right and you can definitely see that very well on my skin even when I go and blend it out because it's a bit warm but I do love them a lot when I wear them very light handed and I also sometimes take the middle shade is my highlighter on my eyes and the left one through the crease whenever I'm wanting something really nice and simple and natural. Now I'd love to see how you use it and this is how it looks on my skin. Um, if you are as fair as me and you have it, how do you use it? Because I struggled a lot in the beginning because almost all of the colours were a bit too dark and I kind of felt like I was wasting my money. But now I am absolutely in love with it and I, although I have smashed, smashed smashed two of the colours, I have very happily dented the third, so there's a big dip in it because I've used it so much, and I am loving it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye!